The purpose of this video is to introduce you to a really simple method called the FIFA method. And it's a way of handling and answering calculation questions in science. So we've got a question on the board at the moment and it says calculate the work done when a ball is kicked 500 centimetres with a force of 20 newtons. And underneath that in blue I've written the equation that is relevant to that question. Sometimes you might need to remember that and sometimes you might be given it. So, what's the FIFA method? Well, the FIFA method is this. When you get a question like this, what I'd like you to do is to write FIFA underneath the question, like so. So in the space that you're given to answer it, you write FIFA. The first F stands for formula. And so at that point, what I'm really asking you to do is to rewrite the formula. So you write WD, which is joules, is equal to distance in metres, times force, which is measured in newtons. The I stands for input, input values. And so what you really do now is you look back at the question and you think, well, what values have I got? What can I input into that formula? So work done is what I'm trying to find, but I have given the distance and the distance in the question is 500 centimeters. And the force in the question is 20 newtons. Okay, so far so good. And you get a mark for writing that down. So even if you got to the end and you got it all wrong, you would get a mark because you've written that line down. The next F stands for fine tune. And what that means is at this point, you might need to change the subject of the equation, or you may need to convert some of the units. Well, in this question, I do need to convert some of the units. Distance has to be in metres, and in the question, it's given to me in centimetres, and you can see that we wrote centimetres down here. So I need to fine-tune it, and there are 100 centimetres in one metre, so that means 500 centimetres is actually 5 metres. So work done in joules is actually equal to 5 metres times 20 newtons. The final A stands for answer and this is where we're going to write our answer. So work done is going to be equal to 5 times 20 which is 100 and the answer is 100 joules. So what we'd like you to do now is go back to Google Classroom and have a look at the questions that have been set for you and see if you can answer those questions. I hope this has been useful. Take care everybody.